If you or one of your family members sneeze every time you walk into the house or you have high utility bills, your attic is probably not properly ventilated. When you don't ventilate your attic correctly, you end up with mold and fungus growing up there and that causes the allergies and the sneezing. And you end up with high utility bills because in the summertime when it heats up in the attic, that pocket of air gets bigger and bigger and ends up working its way into your house and then you've got to pay to cool that hot air out of the attic and you don't want to do that. You've got to properly ventilate it from day one when you build the house. And it starts out here on what most people call the overhang. Now the overhang is made up of fascia, which is the exposed end, and then the soffit, which is the piece that's running horizontal. And in the middle of that soffit, all the way around the house, you should see these vents. The vent is silver, it's not like the rest of the overhang. We're going to paint it all one color later. So let's go up in the attic and I'll show you exactly how the vent's going to work. Now it's hard to get back to actually see the vent itself, but it's on the other side of that wall plate where we have our soffit and our fascia. You can see a little extra light down there, that's from outside. And the air comes up through there and it runs in between these rafters in this cavity and it'll help push that hot air in the attic on out of the attic itself. Now a lot of times when they blow in insulation in the ceiling, they blow right over that vent. And if you already own a home, you can go outside and pull down your vent on your face, you just unscrew it and I bet you see a lot of insulation. They're going to come in and actually staple like a plastic or foam baffle that'll go right here and let the air go on the back side but it'll prevent any insulation from being blown in and blocking it. And then we need a way to expel the hot air that's already in the house. We've got several options there. Let's go downstairs and take a look. Well this is probably a pretty common vent that you've seen up on the roof of a house. This is a twirler and they really work well. You just mount it on the roof line up high. You need it towards the top of your roof because hot air is going to rise. Whenever the wind blows, it actually turns this. The air will actually hit it and move it around. That will help draw some air up through those soffit vents and clean out that hot air that's building up in the summertime in your attic. Now a lot of people like to put plastic bags over these in the winter time to prevent air from moving through your attic. Don't do that because you end up with a lot of moisture build up in your attic in the winter time. Your house is hot, the air upstairs is cold, so it forms moisture just like it would on the side of a glass of ice water in the summertime. So leave it open even in the wintertime. Let that thing go ahead and twirl. Another very common system is a ridge vent. This is what one looks like. You can see it's very long. It goes along the top of your roof line, the ridge itself. It bends over it like such and it's nailed down. I've actually got a cutaway of it here that you can see with the shingle on top as well. Here's our roof line coming up both sides. We don't bring our plywood or our OSB all the way together. We hold it back just a little bit so we've got an opening there. And then we mount our plastic ridge vent there, put our shingle over the top of it. These actually turn up to help draw air down in there, almost like an airplane wing. So we get a good draw going throughout our whole attic and no moving parts, so not much to take care of. This is made by a company called O'Hagan. And this is what we're actually putting on this house because we're using a tile roof. Tile roof would be hard to do with the ridge vent. Our twirler wouldn't look right on it. So we mount this in different places throughout our roof line. If you look at it from a side view, you can see that it's actually elevated. If you look at it from behind, you see here's where the air comes through. So our hot air has a place to escape if we mount this high enough on the roof line. And then we just put our tile up against it. And you clean the oil off of this and you actually paint it the exact same color as your tile so it blends in. We've actually got one mounted outside. And again, it looks a lot better than using a ridge vent or a twirler. And we've got to have some way to get that hot air and that moisture out of the attic. So we're going with this in our house. One other point to remember also is if you don't have proper ventilation on your attic, you're going to lose your warranty on your asphalt or fiberglass shingles. Those companies don't cover the shingles if you don't have proper ventilation because that heat buildup will cause them to delaminate. If you do have proper ventilation, your family's going to sneeze a lot less, plus you're going to have lower utility bills every month.